Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm checking into your love life Aquarius. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah, and death is on the bottom of the deck. Um, okay, so let me tell you a little story. It's a goofy little story and you guys are going to laugh at me, I know, but if I don't share this with you, it, it, it doesn't quite get the message across. So the thing that I do a lot is I try to save these little things, right? Um, bugs at this time of year in Wisconsin, they're starting to die out and some of them I feel really sorry for. So I'll, I'll try to bring the bug into the warm house so that they can live longer. I know it sounds goofy, but this is what I do, okay? So I was outside this morning and I'm trying to, to get this cute little bug like onto my hand and stuff so that I could save it. But it kept like literally jumping away from me. And I looked at the bug and I'm like, I'm trying to save you. And I heard the divine say, some don't want to be saved. That to me is a message, okay? Some don't want to be saved. And I feel like now is where there's going to be a huge separation um, between those who want to be saved, those who want to be on a spiritual path, those who want to learn the lessons and do the work, right? Um, those who are having faith, that kind of thing, separated now from, from those who don't want to be saved, there's going to be like a huge separation, kind of like a cut right down the middle. That's the feeling that I'm getting. And the ones who don't want to be saved, um, I, you know, I feel like not that anybody's going to die, right? I've got the death card. But this stands for transformation. And I feel like they've had their chance to transform. They've had their chance to listen. They've gotten the messages. They, they have intuition, but they, they're in denial. They don't want to be saved. So you have to, there comes a time when you have to kind of move, move on, keep moving so that you can reach the ones who do want to be saved. Do you see what I'm saying? And leave the rest to God. Um, and I feel like we're in this time now where there's, um, I keep thinking of that reading that I heard from Northern Lightseer. She said it the best. It's like a, the great divide. Okay. And that's really, that's the message that I got this morning trying to save that bug. Some don't want to be saved. So, um, so I feel like it's, yeah. Death, it's kind of like the end of you trying, right? And so that you can move forward with your journey, okay? And keep helping the ones who do want to listen, the ones who do believe, the ones that you can actually help. I feel like this is that, um, this is that split, the separation, right? It's almost like two groups of people being separated, but the ones that don't want you to save them, you're leaving them to God to do what they do, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like you're, and this is it. It's ending, and see, I feel like this is your energy, Knight of Pentacles. Um, you were moving very slowly, okay, because you really did want to help other people. You wanted to wake them up. We could be talking about friends, family, co-workers, exes. It doesn't matter who you are trying to wake up to the spiritual, you know, the spiritual side of things. I feel like now you've turned in an opposite direction. And you're taking your knowledge and your gifts and moving on and trying to help those. Yeah, moving on to help those who can, who do want to join the spiritual path okay there's lots of others out there i feel that want their cups filled that want you know they're holding the cup up and the cups to me it's not just about love the spirituality is in these cups right your faith your the downloads you get the messages you get from the divine um how you interpret those messages um uh, your your intuition, your discernment. I feel like these are people holding the cup up to the divine, like saying, I want some of this spirituality. 
please fill my cup. That's who you're, you're going towards, are the ones who actually do want to come to the divine, who do want to see the light, who do want their cups filled. And the rest of these people, the ones who don't want to be saved, you're leaving behind you. That's this uh, separation, okay? And the ones that, you know, the people that you're leaving behind, they're feeling that pain. They're feeling the separation. And, and I feel like um, it's very painful because they don't have that that want to be saved. Do you see what I'm saying? They're going down. Some don't want to be saved. That was the message I got. And you, yeah, you're moving on. You're moving forward. You're looking back as if to say, look, I tried to help you. See how you're looking at them? I tried to help you though, but I tried and you wouldn't listen. I tried to give you clarity and you just um, self-sabotaged yourself with it. You didn't actually learn. You didn't want to come to the divine. So now you have to move forward. And I, I feel like um, you're, you're able to move forward now um, healed, right? You're not in your emotions. You, you have a strong sense of where you're going and what it is that you're doing um, to help other people. This is a spiritual battle here that we're fighting. Yeah, and, and it's almost like the divine is picking teams, okay? And you are on the right team. I can't stress that enough. You're on the right team, but the people who didn't want to be saved before, they're not. And they're falling on their face, and they're having a really difficult time. They're in a lot of pain, but you know what? They didn't listen to you. And, so, and these people didn't want to be saved. They wanted to stay in their toxic ways. They wanted to just keep being in denial. They wanted to think, keep thinking that they were larger than life, that they didn't need spirituality, that they didn't need help. Yeah, and you know what? Whatever they were trying to put in the past, you know, and put to rest, they can't. I feel like you are, you're putting this to rest. And you're letting the divine take over. You know, and you're moving forward to help the ones who want to be helped. To save the people who want to be saved. Because these ones that you're leaving in the past, they don't want to be saved. I feel like, the, you know, with temperance out here, I feel like the angels are still with them. Okay? When you move forward to help other people and fill their cups, right, of spirituality, the messages that you're getting. Okay, look, you're very tapped in, very intuitive, and there's a whole lot of other people that need your help. I feel like, um, I feel like too, um, the things that you've said has shed the light on a lot of things, okay? Um, your spiritual messages and the way you're tapped into the divine um, it's bringing illusions down for people now. All the illusions are coming down so that the people that didn't want to be saved before can see what they missed. And I feel like that's the divine um, kind of standing by them so that they can see all that they missed out on. Okay, And when they're ready, there's an angel here that they can go to. But you... You need to move forward. You need to keep using that intuition and getting these messages so that you can help all the people that do want their cups filled. These are people holding their cups up. Like I said, like they're saying, please fill my cup divide. That's how I'm reading this card today. Probably the only reader who sees that. But yeah, I feel like it's, and, and you're being blessed right now. A new beginning. I, um, I feel like you're being leveled up because of your spirituality, because you've been fighting the good fight. This is fighting the good fight. This takes a lot of effort. Okay, your growth, your healing, um, everything that you've learned, the knowledge that you've acquired on this journey, all of it together is a part of fighting the good fight. This was your training. 
This was your training. And now, uh, I've been getting these spiritual messages this morning. Now I feel like you've got a really high spiritual ranking here, but it's time for you to move forward with your gifts and your knowledge and share them with the people who do want to listen. The ones who don't are left behind. Um, but here's the thing. They still have an angel assigned to them. When they're ready to be saved, they can go to this angel. Okay? But you, I feel, are instructed to keep moving forward. Keep shedding the light for the people who do want help. Who do want to be saved by the divine. Do you see what I'm saying? All right. Um... Yeah, and your gifts, I feel, are about to be amplified, okay? Um, you've, earned, you've earned something here, and I feel like the divine is giving you a whole new beginning. New beginnings for you. Queen of Swords energy. I feel like um, you've been very betrayed by these people that you've been trying to help, and now they're in a lot of regret. Like I said, all the illusions are coming down now, and, but it's a bit too late for these people because they just kept betraying you. They kept backstabbing you. Um, you tried, but I feel like it's a bit too late for them now. They're standing here turning their whatever they believed in before it had nothing in it for them. If they, if if this is a love reading here, um, who whoever betrayed you in the past, for someone else, there was no love in those cups. You're the one with the love. You're the one with the spiritual messages. And they didn't listen, and now they're in a lot of regret. They're in a lot of regret. Because there just comes a time when you you know you, you you have to step away. You can't keep trying to save those and teach those and help those who don't want to be helped. Okay, some don't want to be saved. You know, I feel like these the, um, this is a person here who had really bad intentions for you, but now uh, the scales are balanced. I feel like this. Whoever this is, um, and it could be multiple people. This could this could stand for multiple people. In and out energy, not really caring about consequences, um, just playing you, right? An opportunist taking what they want. Um, I feel like the scales are being balanced here. The divine is um, the div uh, the universe is balancing these scales. You're moving forward for a new new beginnings here for you, collective. Reaching people that do want to hear you, that do want to listen. Um, for the divine, right? Feel like this is this is the universe speaking here, and this is um, you're doing a job for them, and this is what they want you to do. These other people here in the past that are in regret now, they're. They have a new um, angel assigned to them. If they want to come to the divine, their angel is there. Their angel is there, but you have to keep moving forward. Yeah, looking on to better days, moving forward, standing in your strength, standing in your integrity, speaking the truth, helping people get their cups of spirituality filled, okay? their faith, uh, their intuition. You're helping other people here, but you, uh, you have to move, you have to kind of move away from the ones who don't want to be saved. Okay? Yeah, they're, they're kind of, uh, the ones who don't want to be saved are having a really difficult time right now. They're kind of backed into a corner in their life. They're up against a wall. They can't move. They can't go anywhere. They're not getting any new opportunities. Um, they have to deal with the mistakes from their life, and these people didn't want to confront that. And you can't 
You can't learn from your mistakes unless you take a look at them. And they didn't want to do that. They didn't want to openly admit all the things that they've done in the past. You, you know, you can't, you can't fix and learn from those things unless you admit them and admit them to yourself. And these people just haven't been ready. They haven't been, they, they didn't want to be saved. They didn't want to listen to the knowledge that you had. Okay, and now they're stuck. They're stuck until they come to their assigned angel. Because you're being, you're being moved forward here to help other people. It's kind of like, um, it feels kind of like a military plan. Like you, you're assigned to everybody over here. Now a new angel is coming in and they're assigned to sit here and wait for these people to want to face their, their, their own crap. Okay? A new angel has been pulled in for the people to wait for them to see if they'll ever come towards their spirituality and come towards God. And you're being, you're being moved forward. You're getting like um, new instructions. Okay? You're getting new instructions to keep moving forward. Stay in your strength. Stay in your boundaries. You keep having that integrity, right? I feel like these people are living in like in the 3D materialistic world. I really do. I feel like their only their focus is on money and if you don't have as much money, you're not good enough. That's all 3D crap. It doesn't matter. And the and the the divine this this temperance angel, they're just here waiting waiting for them to face this waiting for them to want to start their, their journey and learn their lessons. The temperance angel is kind of hovering around these people while you move forward to teach other people. Okay? So, um, yeah, I'm really feeling like um, you haven't, you know, you, it's, it's almost like you're a soldier for the divine that now you have a new assignment. Okay, and this temperance angel, this soldier for the divine, um, has their assignment to hang back and wait to see if these people living in the 3D only, if they ever start coming to their senses, if they ever want to um, learn this lesson, right? I feel like um, you may have a new soulmate connection here coming towards you, who is going to help you on this path. This is, this could be somebody, um, some of these people I feel like, yeah, look. Their tower's coming down, they're getting hit. Some of these people don't know which way to go. Well, should I, should I stay and hang out in the 3D, what I'm used to, right? What I'm used to on work. Uh, on earth just working and 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 thinking about money and the things that they see they thought that materialistic things and money are going to elevate them in life but no it's the spirituality side of things that elevates you and i feel like they just didn't they didn't realize that They don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on is really what I'm getting because they're getting hit with tower moments. All of a sudden, they can't move. Nothing's happening for them. They could be losing their money, losing properties, losing all of their 3D toys, right? There's tower moments happening in these people's lives because they didn't want to be saved. But I feel like you're about to get a new soulmate, some connection here that's going to help you as you move forward on your spiritual path, okay? That's what I'm getting here. And I feel like whoever didn't listen to you before, whoever didn't want you to be saved, they can't come with you now. Even though they may want to, I feel like 
eventually they're going to want to because they're being pushed into it, right? With tower moments, with being stuck and oh, stuck and trapped. Where is it? I had it. Now it's gone. You know, they were up against a wall. They just can't, they can't move. And they want to be able to move. They want to be able to move forward, but I feel like they can't. They've got to sit, they've got to sit down and they've got to think about this and realize a great many things. And this earth angel, this angel over here, um, they're just hanging back. They're just hovering around these people that, that didn't want to be saved, hoping that they'll come to God. Okay, hoping that they'll see the light. Yeah, you have somebody coming towards you who's going to help you build a future. They're going to help you on your new journey. Um, this new soulmate connection, I feel like this is somebody who um, it's going to turn into a Ten of Pentacles situation. It's going to, it, you're going to end up committing with this person. This is going to be somebody who is also extremely spiritual. You both have the same cup here. Very Two spiritual people coming together to build something solid. Someone's coming towards you, collective, who's going to help you on this journey. Because right now, you're, you're moving forward alone. And I feel like the divine knows you need help, so you're getting back up. You're getting somebody to come in and join you, okay? While these people over here wait, refusing, keeping their back turned on the divine, keeping their back turned on the messages, being in denial, but yet waiting for their ships to come in. No ships are coming in for these people in the 3D. I feel like the money's not coming in. Opportunities aren't coming in because they're in denial here with their back turned. They had a choice one way or the other, right? You want to stay in toxicity, keep li living in 3D thinking in the material world, or do you want to choose the divine? What do you want? And they, they just stayed in denial. Yeah, their ships aren't able to come in, man. They're not getting any new opportunities. Whatever these people were waiting for, it's not coming. As a matter of fact... Their stability is being brought down by the divine. So, yeah, I, I feel like um, some people, some don't want to be saved. And this is what happens with the ones who didn't listen. The ones who didn't want to accept their own spirituality. The ones who were in denial. This is what happens. Tower. Tower. But you're over here doing what you're told. You're moving forward. Okay? You're moving forward and you're about to get um, someone coming in here who's going to help you build something even stronger. And it's good. I feel like it's going to lead to a commitment. This is somebody that's going to stick with you for the rest of your life as you go on your journey together. Yeah, this is that split, guys. Get ready for it. This is the split. This is where you say goodbye and you tell these people energetically, right? You don't have to talk to them, but you, you're thinking it. You're looking back like, I tried to help you. I tried. You didn't listen. You were in denial. You didn't listen. I got to go. And boom, look. Sleepless nights. Having to sit up in bed at night and think about all of the things that um, they've done in the past. Think, of, Look at their ugly patterns of behavior, right? Think about it all. They can feel this disconnect, too, as you just glide off, you know, to help other people. Help enlighten other people. And they feel very left behind. Okay, these are the ones that are left behind, but they're not left alone. There's a difference, okay? They're not left alone. There's a, like I said, there's a, an angel who's assigned to these people, waiting in the wings for when they're ready to come forward. 
and start their spiritual path. You, though, you, you have the footwork to do. You need to get out there, um, move forward, and touch the lives of the people who do want to be saved. Yep, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups here. All your cups are going to be filled. And I feel like, and here's, here's one, I feel like there's one already coming out. That wants that spiritual journey, that wants to learn their see their they start to they start to change then, but they have to they have to they can't come to you, they've got to come to their own angel here that's assigned to them, and they're just beginning their path here. They're just going to be learning. I feel like this person you gave them, look, you gave these people message after message after message after message you've warned them over and over and over and over again and they sat here laughing about it this is one that doesn't want to be saved but here all these cups are filled they're filled so yeah i feel like the ones who didn't want to be saved before they're getting their karma now but it's not really karma it's more of a push well we're gonna bring down your tower we're gonna make it so that none of your ships come in we're gonna make it so that you can't move no opportunities right so that you can think about this okay they're not ruined right but they're being pushed into not being in denial anymore, right? Realizing things, even if it hurts. But you're moving forward here, collective. Let's get some advice. Because you, you have to, you know, you, you can't keep trying, to, you can't spend years trying to teach somebody something and help somebody with something and they keep being in denial they keep laughing at you they keep joking about it they they keep you know at some point you're doing a job for the divine you've got to go help the people who want who want help you're not here to waste your time and energy okay you're here with a plethora of knowledge um, and and um, connected to the divine here, yeah. Your your job is to co-create with God. That's what you're doing. You're working together as a team. And I feel like the divine uh, has given you your instructions. Okay, move forward. Some don't want to be saved. All right, so what else can you show me here for the collective? And the four here, that's an 1111. That's a divine number. I'm telling you, you have a job to do. And you're being spiritually led to separate here. And like Northern Lightseer said, it's like the Great Divide. That's what she called it, the Great Divide, I think. <laughs> I think. Don't quote me on that. What is this? Yeah. In order to co-create, in order to do your job with the divine, they're sending you, they're sending you away. They're, they're having you move forward. Okay? They're having you move forward. Um, away from the away from the people that don't want to be saved. Go to sea. You could be a water sign, not necessarily though. Um, you can be any sign for collective readings. Just so you know, if something pulled you in from the from the title, there this is for you. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're going on to calmer waters here. You're going to a, a new places, new faces, and this is what you're fated to do. This is, this is what you've always been, it's always been your job, okay? You may not have known it before, but this is fated. It's, this is the separation here between the ones who do want to listen, the ones who do want to be saved, and the ones who don't. 
this is that faded moment where there's a, a high degree of separation here. Okay, so, and I feel like your blessings, everything that's coming towards you, that was faded too. It's because of your faith, all right? So, yeah, I feel very strongly that um, you're being moved forward, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting here. Getting those messages from the divine so that you can help other people who may be um, sort of like stuck in their emotions here. That could be it too. Give me one more for the collective, please. Feel like you're a very powerful light worker. Yeah, what's not for you and it see that separation right down the middle. Okay, no, between the ones who want to be saved and the ones who don't. And the ones who don't want to be saved, it's not your job anymore. They have a new um, or they have a new angel who's assigned to hover around them, but you are move forward, moving forward. The divine is moving you forward to help those who want to be saved. I hope that makes sense. Um, anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. Um, I do hope this helps. You're being guided. Just go with it, right? Listen to the divine and go with it.